Thanks for joining us for Valley News Live at 10. I'm Stacy Van Dyke. And I'm Justin Betty. The Oaks Public High School is 100 years old, and soon voters will decide if it's time for some upgrades. School leaders are proposing a $15 million referendum to bring it up to speed. Valley News Team's Anna Ballweber gives us a look inside. Oaks High School first opened their doors in 1923. Now, 100 years and several maintenance projects later, the building has reached a new level of disrepair. It's a once in a generation decision and these improvements are needed. With old age comes a great deal of maintenance and the district is certainly looking for a much needed makeover. Um, it's incredibly important that we take care of what we have now so that it's here for the future. And what they have now are heating, cooling and ventilation systems held together by duct tape. Leaky pipes, broken windows and a lack of ADA compliant bathrooms also top the list of challenges the school faces. These are just basic environmental uh, needs. We're not proposing a swimming pool or ice hockey sheets or a big performing arts center. These are basic needs that our buildings need. Some of the appliances are over 50 years old. Um, we, we need to take care of it. Uh, if we don't take care of uh, the exterior and uh, the interior uh, mechanical systems, it will just continue to deteriorate. The plan, a 20 year bond referendum where if passed, Oaks residents property tax would increase in order to pay for all of the school projects. School board members say they've respected stakeholder feedback from this. Um, particularly respectful of those uh, ag land owners, farmers who this will impact much greater than uh, uh, the owner of a small home in the district. It, not nearly as painful for them. Specifically, a residential home in the district would see a tax increase of $19.22, while agricultural landowners would see an increase of $2.34 per acre. A referendum like this hasn't been passed here since 1981. This is vitally important to the future of our school. So don't just assume that this referendum is going to pass. We need everybody to get out and vote. And when voting is available, they remind you. And when you go and vote, that you vote properly educated. In Oaks, North Dakota, Anna Ballweber, Valley News Live. Absentee voting starts Saturday. You can vote in person or by mail. All the details are posted to your VNL News app. Just click on this story.